Hello everyone, my name is Kotetsu and welcome back to my channel. I apologise for not making a video for the last few days, for some reason my internet service went down and uh, to make things worse my mobile network went down as well today so uh, you know at least I've had a good opportunity to paint some models but certainly not make any videos. But yeah that's why I'm reacting to this article a little bit late but what I'm going to talk about is three things in this video. First thing is uh, the fact that we are going to be having some new releases going up for pre-order in a week's time. I'm going to give you my thoughts on what I think we are going to see. Second thing, I'm going to mention the price adjustments and then finally I'm going to talk about another rumor engine picture that was released. I'm going to make some uh, slightly more discussion based videos from tomorrow now that I've got my internet back. I think I will be talking about things like uh, the old world which five factions I really want to see returned and I will get back to my model range reviews I promise. I know you guys absolutely love those but uh, yeah it's been impossible. <laughs> So the final thing I want to mention really quickly is don't forget to go and find my Warhammer Facebook group. It's called Kitetsu Warhammer Clan. I will leave a link for it in the description right at the top so you can go and find that. There's about 130 something people in there at the moment and it's a really chilled amazing place where you can discuss all things Warhammer related uh, to do with Age of Sigmar, Fantasy and the Old World. But right, so first things first. In a week's time on the 30th of May, well as of recording this, less than a week, six days, you will be able to pre-order a whole load of new releases. We don't know what they are at the moment because we haven't been told but you will be able to uh, pick them up on the shelves a week later on the 6th of June. Now super quickly I'm guessing we're going to see this box right here the Lumineth Realm Lords box. This box is very similar to the Sisters of Battle army box that we saw so I'm imagining they're planning on rolling these out in the same kind of way you know with the uh, box coming out uh, first and then maybe a few weeks or so after we'll see the rest of the range. Everything's a bit strange at the moment because obviously uh, we've been waiting so long and we've pretty much seen from what I can tell most of the Lumineth if not all of the Lumineth by now. So perhaps they could release all of the range in one go but I think it's far more likely we will just see this box and then the rest of the range will be shortly afterwards. But yeah you've seen what's in the box by now. You get I think uh, 10 of these spearmen, 5 of the cavalry and then you get this cool guy. You get some tokens, the war scroll cards, the specific dice for this faction and a limited edition battle tome. I'm expecting it to cost about £125 because that is how much the sisters box was. It looks I guess like you got more in that box but then you've got a whole unit of cavalry and a unique character. So yeah, expect that to go up for pre-order in a week's time. I think that's a likely scenario, but I guess we'll wait and see. We also have Scions of the Flame, which should go up for pre-order, hopefully. We saw those literally ages ago. We've also got the Knight Stalkers, the Knight Shadow Stalkers. They could go up for pre-order, I'm not entirely sure. We've also got a few other of the Warhammer Underworlds warbands, like the uh, Daughters of Cain ones. So yeah, let me know down below what you think we're going to see going up for pre-order. Next thing we've got the price increase. I'm not going to talk about that too much. It's disappointing. It's frustrating. It annoys just about everybody when a price adjustment happens. I've never really covered one on my channel and I normally try and keep things really positive. But in this case, you know, you just have to say things the way they are. That's what I try and do. And there's no sugarcoating a price adjustment. It's a bad thing. It's annoying. It's not a cheap hobby as it is. So this is only uh, really a step in the wrong direction for a lot of people. You can click on the link and see all of the different things that have gone up in price. There's 38 pages, so I'm not going to talk about all of them. But we did have this spreadsheet leak from internally, apparently. And uh, this lists all of the old prices and then how much they're going to go up by. Seeing as uh, I'm me and I overdo things, I went through it, deleted everything I could see that was uh, Lord of the Rings or 40k, calculated the price difference and put them in descending order. So the most expensive change is going to be £10 and I think the cheapest one is going to be 50p. But I mean the vast majority of things on this list are not going up by too much. 141 things only going up by around £2.50. Now, a lot of these things that are going up in price don't affect me personally, so that was the first thing I did was check what I'm working on at the moment and make sure nothing's going up there. So I was 
breathing a sigh of relief, but then at the same time, just because it doesn't affect me personally doesn't mean it's not really frustrating to other people. I was actually really surprised by some of the price increases, and that is because some of them are really recent. So the Godsworn Hunt, I was really surprised, is going up. The Worm Spat, they've only just really come out. Ripper's Snarfangs, in fact, most of the things I was really surprised about were the Underworld's Warbands. But then on the flip side, I guess I have always seen them as a really good deal. But maybe things like Nagash I'm less surprised about because he was quite an old model. And if that model came out now, I don't really think he would be necessarily that cheap. But then on the flip side, you then see something like the Eidolon of Mathlan and it just doesn't really make sense. If you guys want to see that document in more detail, someone has posted it on my Warhammer Facebook group. But yeah, finally, we also have the new Rumor engine picture. I was so excited when I first saw this. I mentioned in a video a few weeks ago that we could could be seeing some new vampires at some point and this certainly screamed vampire when I first looked at it. Someone even pointed out to me that the uh, gems on his wrist guard and on the sword are blood drop shaped. And we did have that little story in the newspaper article from a while ago that said that the guy had been drained of all his blood. So again, more evidence leading towards vampires. It's so cryptic and hard to work out exactly what we're looking at here. I was thinking this is really ornate. It's possibly something to do with vampires. But when I talked about it on my Facebook group, there was maybe a 60-40 split where some people were saying they think it could be elven. Now, unlike this thing here, which I think looks very, very fleshy to courts, I'm less convinced that this here could belong to them, purely because it's so ornate. Never say never, I guess. But yeah, I don't think it really makes sense that a flesh eater court is actually going to have a sword looking like that. A proper vampire faction, possibly. Could it be elven? Maybe. Something to do with the Lumineth Realm Lords, perhaps? I'm not entirely sure. Let me know down in the comments what you think this picture relates to. I'm still fairly certain that this sword here belongs to a new Flesh Eater Court model. And I do believe, actually, now that I think about it, that the rest of the range has not actually been shown with proper weapons before. You know, like swords and halberds and stuff like that. They normally just have bone clubs and sharpened stakes and stuff. But yeah, I'm really interested to hear what you guys think. Do you think this is our first look at a proper vampire faction in Age of Sigmar? Do you think it could be something to do with the Lumineth Realm Lords, perhaps a unit we haven't seen yet? Do you think it is indeed part of the Flesh Eater Courts? Or do you think that it could be something entirely different that we haven't seen before? Right, I'm going to leave my video there. Don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe, and yeah, try and find my Facebook group because uh, it's really growing quite quickly and I've been having an awful lot of fun on there talking to different people, it's very laid back. But yeah, I'm going to leave the video there, thanks for watching and I will see you guys really soon.